Last Child is Here, Part 1 and 2 by J.K. Rowling and Jack Thorne and John Tiffany. A lot of J's that are part of that author trio. So I am someone who um, absolutely adores the Harry Potter fandom, but is also a person who has not yet actually finished the Harry Potter books. I have read Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone and Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, but I have not finished the series because I'm a terrible person and I also did not really like the writing style very much, but I will endeavour to finish that series one time soon. But that does not mean that I do not love Harry Potter. I love Harry Potter. I'm like a hardcore fan of Harry Potter. And especially The Cursed Child, which I have recently read and I did enjoy it. I especially kind of love being able to read a script play, so yeah, I was very happy with that. But this is not a review for this book. This is just going to be a video of me showing off all my wonderful Harry Potter stuff because I have so much of it. And I actually think I'm going to have to spread it out onto two shelves because I'm running out of room. And plus there's a lot more Harry Potter stuff I want to buy. So in like no particular order, I'm just going to start pulling stuff out and talking about it. My illustrated edition of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, which I absolutely love. The artwork in this is so beautiful. And just this book itself, I just, every time I look at it, it's just so magnificent. I got to go to England a year ago and I went down to the making of Harry Potter and I bought a bunch of stuff and looked at all the amazing like props and everything in the setup and it was so amazing and I loved it so much. And so I obviously picked up a few things including my Slytherin journal because I am a Slytherin which I am totally decked out in the colors for today. Got the merch and I needed the merch. I haven't actually used this journal yet I don't want to kind of ruin it but I still really really like it. Harry Potter and the Creature Vault so once again the artwork in this is absolutely amazing. I have flipped I met the page! Once again, the artwork in this is amazing. Yeah, I basically fell in love with this one. I got it. I flicked through it so quickly, and then I went back through it all in detail because it's so interesting. I just love all these books that are coming out of from Harry Potter, and there's so many more that I need to get. I got Hermione's Time Turner, but because I wore it so much, um, I actually broke it. And I got it from London, where I no longer am, and so I just have to make do with a broken one for now until I return to London again and buy it. My Mortarous map, which I have only gotten out of this plastic like a handful of times because as you probably might have noticed I'm a bit of a klutz when it comes to nice things and I destroy them and so I know that if I got this out and just looked at it as much as I really want to that it would be covered in my dirty fingerprints and probably ripped by some sort of cat or ghost jumping on it. I have like so many Harry Potter merch jewelry stuff um, that I own, but a lot of it is in my bedroom, which is like, you know, a whole 10 paces away, which is super hard for me. So you guys will just have to suffer with what I have here. And that is my Voldemort wand on a necklace, which I haven't actually worn yet. I did get the Hermione one from the YA Chronicles, which I wear all the time, but that's over there, you know. It's too far for me to go. I need a broomstick. Also from the YA Chronicles is my Death Eater tattoo, which I will use but I only have it for one use, so I'm going to be very wise when I use it. I have my original and incomplete hardcover slash sort of paperback set of Harry Potter. My family was absolutely obsessed with this series when it came out. Like, my brothers, my sisters, my mum, my dad did not read it, but everyone else did. And so we had to buy multiple copies for our family because we are all very impatient people. And we also happen to be very destructive people. And we have taped them up, and we have lost books, and we did not respect them. Them, even though we should have. But I. Oh my god. But in replacement for the ones that are destroyed, I went ahead and bought these really nice, beautiful paperback ones, and that I really love, and that I will read one day. But until then, I can just stare at them because they're so beautiful. I also picked up Voldy's wand because I just really love his wand. I was so torn because there were so many great ones, but this one, I just. I love it so much so I picked it up but I can tell you guys now that my wand collection will grow it will grow and I also have my Horcrux which I got from a bookstore it is only a really cheap one and I can only put some small hidden messages inside of it but I still love it just as much it's so cool I then also have um, all my Harry Potter clothing I have my wonderful Slytherin Quidditch shirt on that I have been wearing now for like two days because I only got it in the mail and I never want to take it off I'm also wearing my um Harry Potter pants. Let me just... <sighs> and 
And um, one that I won't show you is my um, Slytherin underwear. But I also have my Gryffindor and Ravenclaw and Hufflepuff ones as well, but I don't wear them once as much. So that is my Harry Potter collection, and I know that there's probably much more sitting around in drawers or my bedroom somewhere, but for now, that is all that I keep in my library, so that is it. I hope that you guys have a wonderful day and read plenty of books and stay magical and stay out of Azkaban. But that's all, so I'm gonna go and play a game of Quidditch. See ya.